Hello, everybody, and welcome to Dark Souls Prepare to Die Edition. This is a game developed by From Software, published by Namco Bandai Games in uh, 2012. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, it's gonna be a little uh, fun game. Um, we're gonna go ahead and make our character right now, so I'm gonna go ahead and speed up through this so you don't have to watch. Alright, so here's our character, Geppetto. Uh, he's starting out as deprived, so no clothes for him. Not yet, at least. And, uh, yeah, all his skills are pretty much balanced. As you can see, he starts at 11 on everything. Which is ideal, because I'm doing a challenge run, which I'll explain later. So with that, let's get into this game. In the Age of Ancients, the world was unformed, shrouded by fog. A land of grey crags, arch trees, and everlasting dragons. But then there was fire, and with fire, came disparity, heat and cold, life and death, and of course, light and dark. Then from the dark, they came and found the souls of lords within the flame. Nito, the first of the dead. The witch of Isolith and her daughters of chaos. Gwyn, the Lord of Sunlight, and his faithful knights, and the furtive pygmy, so easily forgotten. With the strength of lords, they challenged the dragons. Gwyn's mighty gods drew the heart their stone skins. The witches weaved great firestorms. Nito unleashed a miasma of death and disease. And Seath, the scales, betrayed his own. And the dragons were no more. will fade, and only dark will remain. Even now, there are only embers, and man sees not light, but only endless lights. And amongst the living are seen Carriers of the accursed dark side. Yes, indeed. The dark sign brands the undead.
And in this land, the undead are corralled and led to the north. Where they are locked away to await the end of the world. This is your fate. Northern Undead Asylum. All right, we're into the game, and we are butt naked, pretty much. Oh, and uh, that guy, nice guy up there. Uh, where'd he go? Yeah, he, he gave us a nice dungeon cell key, which allows us to escape. Nice. So in this game, as some of you have heard, it's very hard and difficult, and it is, so uh, expect me to die a lot. Um, but I'm also doing a challenge run, which makes things a little more difficult. So I'm going to have to deal with that as I deal with the difficulty of this game. Uh, so I'm going to just explain how things work around here. You press right bump, right bumper. I'm using the 360 pad, by the way. Right bumper to uh, do a normal attack and uh, right trigger to do a powerful attack. There we go. Uh, as you can see, these messages right here. Uh, they just, they're basically the tutorial telling you how to play. I'll be doing that. So yeah, uh, B is to roll. Uh, if you hold B, you can actually run. And then when you, uh, want to jump, you, uh, you run, and then you let go and tap B again. It's really weird, but strangely effective. Like that. Hello. Okay. So yes, uh, what I was saying before is this is a challenge run, and my challenge is basically I'm doing a whole fashion show sort of thing. So I every uh, armor, weapon, and ring I pick up, I have to instantly put on before I like attack or get into battle. I have to put it on, and um, and basically just keep switching out weapons. So, I don't know. I haven't tried this before. Uh, probably someone's done it before, but I don't know. We'll find out. But, uh, yes. That is my challenge. Uh, I'm also doing... Oh, hello. I don't know if you guys can see that guy up there. Hello. He looks very friendly, and we're obviously not going to, you know, lead to him. Let's just read this message. Get away! Oh! Yep, and that's how you beat him. <laughs> you don't! Welcome to Dark Souls. But, uh, yeah, so that's my challenge. Uh, what I, I, what I was saying before is this is actually a co-op run. I am going to be playing this with, uh, Ted Weird Dude. Uh, but, uh, unfortunately you can't co-op until, like, later in the game. Not too far. But far enough that I can't, uh, get him right now. Oh, good. We got our first item all right and it's a nice little, little plank shield because we love our plank shield we're gonna go ahead and just uh get rid of this sniper there's a spy creeping around here oh that sucks wow okay stop running oh my gosh there you go oh right uh i'm gonna ignore him <laughs> Uh, I forgot this item down here is kind of important yeah club okay and so as you can see I have two slots and uh, two slots for rings so basically it's just gonna go in order so I first have this so now I'm gonna put this here all right and then if I get a shield I'm only I'm gonna be kind of ex exclusive here so weapons go here Shields go here. Armor it has no choice but to go here. And uh, rings go here. Uh, it doesn't matter for arrows, but I'll probably just put them on because I can. 
And yeah, there's a, there's a voice crack for you. All right, so uh, enough lollygagging. Let's uh, let's miss and miss again. Yeah, <laughs> I'm very good, as you can see. Stop it. There we go. Now we're much powerful. We, oui. Geppetto, much powerful. I don't know why I named him Geppetto. It's just on my mind, I guess. Uh, let's see. Oh yeah, you can backstep if you just press B without uh, pressing a direction or anything. Um. Oh yeah, let me show you something. <gasps> there he is. There's our little knight friend. Uh, to use item, you press X, and I have binoculars, so that's how I'm using this. But yes! Oh no, he's trapped in there! We gotta go save him! This looks breakable. I wonder if we just go up this ladder here. Oh, look at that! I'm magic! <laughs> nah, not really. Uh, let's talk to him. Oh, you. You're no hollow. Thank goodness. I'm done for, I'm afraid. I'll die soon. Then lose my sanity. I wish to ask something of you. You and I were both undead. Hear me out, will you? I don't know. You're kind of boring. Well, you just did save me, so fine. Regrettably, I have failed in my mission. But perhaps you can keep the torch lit. There is an old saying in my family. Thou who art undead art chosen. In thine exodus from the undead asylum, maketh pilgrimage to the land of ancient lords. When thou ringeth the bell of awakening, the fate of the undead thou shalt know. Well, now you know. And I can die with hope in my heart. Oh, one more thing. Here, take this. An Estus flask. An undead favorite. Thank you. Oh. And this. Now I must bid farewell. I would hate to harm you after death. So go now. And thank you. Aw, oh, what a nice guy. He's gonna die. Maybe I can help him. Nah, we're just gonna leave him. He'll, he'll, he's, he's, I'm sure he'll be fine. He'll just, he'll just need to pick me up and stuff. What was that? Oh. Oh. <laughs> yeah, he's only worth a hundred souls. So that's... Oh, sorry. Wow, I can't believe I dodged that. I'm too good! Uh, but yes, that was Oscar. He's a nice guy. He died. Eh, that's sad. I thought that was... Hmm, I guess that's only for rangers and stuff. But, um, yeah, uh, let me show you another attack. Uh, let's see, I, I'm gonna lure one of them out. Come here, come here. Alright, so if you do a forward and right trigger, you'll do a jumping slash attack. Which does a lot of damage, ah yes. And then, come here. And then you can do the same, but with the right bumper. And you can do a little kick, and it stuns them, so you can hit them. It's pretty great. Hello, mate. Stop it. Alright, all right. Um, and then last thing, if I can get it off, there's a, the parry. Um, yeah, nice. That's funny. Uh, anyway, you can actually uh, stun them and get a really powerful attack off by knocking away their weapon. And if I can get it, I want to get a cleaner move. Nah, uh, that didn't work. Where's my... Oh, that was perfect, and I missed it. Come here. No, that doesn't work. Do a better attack. That doesn't work! No, come on. Oh my gosh. I want to show off this parry attack. Maybe I can do it. Yeah, okay, that was a mistake. Come on. Just a normal attack. Oh my gosh, what's with this sim? Okay. Oh, I missed. Oh. He did a shield bash. Yeah, apparently I suck at parrying. <laughs> there we go. And so it stuns him, and I can just hit him in the face, and he dies. <laughs> so, if you can master that, you can master this game. So, very helpful. Anyway.
Uh, you remember that big old guy who was like, I'm gonna jump on you? Well, pray back. <laughs> yes, and that is called a plunging attack. It does massive damage when you fall and do an attack. Oh! 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 Wait, I'm not ready. Oh, that was... Oh! Wow, I'm lucky I healed. And I missed. Oh gosh. Uh, I'm not doing so well, actually. Which is surprising, because... I don't know, I used to be good at this game. Goes to show what happens when you play too much Team Fortress. Alright. Ow! Get back! Ooh! No! Don't hurt my Geppetto! I have Pinocchio to make! Ooh! Come on! Okay, come on! Oh no! <laughs> well, there's the first death on the tutorial. <laughs> Which sucks, because this guy's the easy one. I'm pretty sure you can still see him. Is he in there? Oh, there's my stuff. Is that him? Hold on. Oops. Didn't mean to do that. I think that's him. Yeah, there he is. He's just waiting for us. Alright, I'll see you guys when I get back there. Oh, I should. I forgot to mention, I never actually went down here. Um, if you open this gate, it leads back to the courtyard. So, a nice little shortcut. Alright, and we're back. Alright, so, uh, uh, round two. Let's go. Hello, friend. Smack you in the face. Alright, so we're gonna actually be a little more careful so we don't die. You're just gonna hit him in the butt. Oh, what? Come on. I'm gonna actually drink up. Be careful. I'm gonna do will because it's more powerful. Oh, I should mention to do will, you press Y. Probably not the best time to explain the mechanics here. And I'm missing a lot. Oh my gosh. I hate that. Oh! Stop it! This guy was so easy, and now I'm just, like, dying. What the heck? I blame lag and sun in my eyes and bad controls or something. Something to redeem myself. Right. Okay. Thank you, ugly. I mean, uh, beautiful, you're beautiful. Just kidding. Here, let's try not locking on. One more hit. There we go! I told you he was easy. And we get Bill Big Pilgrim's Key. Nice. Alright. And humanity. Nice! So, uh, I, I died before. I, I can explain this now. Uh, I died, and this is my stuff, and I can recover it if I don't die before that. Which I didn't, so yay, I get all my stuff and all my souls, and I'm very happy. Anyway, let's get out of this asylum and Go to the happy world of Dark Souls. Yeah, I liked it better in here. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, and it's like, mm, good job, go straight ahead. Oh, thank you. Developers are just telling me how to play the game. Uh, but there is one item over here that we want. Um, and there's actually something else over here to the right. But we're not going to look at it now because we can't interact with it much, so... Yeah, let's just, uh, let's just go jump off a cliff or something. Only in the ancient legends it is stated that one day an undead shall be chosen. To leave the undead asylum in pilgrimage to the land of the ancient lords. Lordran. 